What's going on people? We are Tottenham TV here. The season is under a week away. The transfer window is four days away from closing. Let's get into the Spurs weekly. Well, we'll start off with our performance yesterday against Girona in Barcelona. Our final mm. friendly of the preseason. It finished Girona 4, Spurs 1. And in reality, an actual battering. Yeah, it really was. Uh, kind of flattered us going 1-0 up at the start. Great free kick from Lucas. Mm -hmm. Um... Amos, he's had a great preseason, but I thought he was pretty poor yeah. in the Girona game. Giving uh, ball away multiple times. Yeah, he kind of ball. he looks much better with better players around him. Uh, the Girona lineup wasn't the greatest, was it? There was kind of well, they finished seventh last season in La Liga. They no, I'm bad. saying our lineup in oh, the Girona yeah, game. Yeah. Um, Aurier, Lucas, and Ben Davis were the only three kind of names Son. that we yeah Son, and Son. Son, and those were the only names that we actually had anything to do with the first team last season. Yeah. So, you know. Can't take I'm, too much away from exactly. it. Exactly. But in reality, though, they ran rings around us. It was a, it was a bit embarrassing how easy it was for Drona. They were like playing really nice football and we made it easy for them. So To be honest, we started off the game quite well. Just We just faltered just after about five, ten minutes. Yeah. Once they equalised. Even before that, actually, I felt they had chances, yeah. to be fair. So, well done, Drona. Not a great end to pre-season, but hopefully it won't bowl too much going into the Newcastle game. Yeah, but I thought it was a kind of good pre-season all in all. Just that yeah. game kind of... US tour was pretty successful, yeah, yeah. but this is a bad ending. Let's move on to Toby Alderweireld. So, rumours circulating as of today that Toby Alderweireld has agreed a £60 million move to Manchester United. No Martial return. Uh, no Martial return. Although, although saying that, there has been some breaking news within the last half an hour that Man United have turned their attention to Harry Maguire as opposed to Toby Alderweireld. So that could be good news. However, most uh, a lot of news outlets are reporting that Spurs have uh, agreed, have lowered their £70 million price tag, agreed a £60 million <laughs> for Toby and if that is true, that's really disappointing, and it really shows a lack of ambition just where the club is going, in my opinion. It's what you call Levy Ball. Well, you, there are people who argue, you know, if Toby wants to leave, just get the best price for him and, you know, have at it. But I don't know. I feel like I feel like strengthening another rival, the second yes, consecutive, again. Well, exactly, yes, second again. consecutive window. You know, Man United wouldn't do that. They'll just if, if look at Martial. They're not willing to deal with us. What happened? Them. What happened to Levy saying after we sold Berbatov to uh, United? We're never going to deal with Man United again. Let's hope it bolts true because at the moment it looks like Toby could be on his way there. And you know, Ma United would rather let Martial rot in their reserves than sell him to Spurs. Exactly. Why aren't we doing the same? You know. And I think Toby's professional enough to, you know, put his head down and give his all for Spurs. I don't think he's that kind of player who would down tools and mope around, you know, because he knows that, given his injury record, that he needs to be playing. He needs to be playing well if he's going to get a big move. So I don't I think it's a I don't think it's clever for Spurs to, um, you know, go. You, we can get 25 million from next time. What's the, in this market? What's the difference anyway? Hardly anything. So, I agree with you. I, I'd say. If he wants to, if he wants to go, let him go. But nowhere, no way is he allowed to go to anywhere in the Premier League. That is I'd just rather a send him for half that and go to a, go, go abroad than sixty definitely. million. Is and like in this, in, sorry, in this current market, sixty million, like it's it's a good deal. But like it's like it's there are better deals out there. It's not great. Like Same what now, can sixty have, million get you? In this we've market? never even spent anything. sixty million. I know, but sixty million can barely get you anything. Like mm. just about gets you Mares. Yeah, and it's a good. Like, he's a good player, but like sixty million is not what he used to. Is my my point. But going on to that, looking at our centre mid options, Lewis Cook. Lewis Cook. Yeah. Uh, he's the one who's been most prevalently linked to Spurs at the moment. Um, I actually quite like Lewis Cook. Yeah, I think yeah. he's a good little player. You there. put up a clip on Twitter this week of, of when we were in Madrid. Yeah. And we just played Bournemouth, didn't we? Mm -hmm. And you were saying how much you like the look of him. Mm. I think when Spurs played Bournemouth Wembley, I thought he actually looked pretty good. Um, I think he's a nice little player. He's actually the type of player I think we need um, in terms of he's a ball player. He doesn't get worried when teams press him. He's a central midfield. Like, he likes to get his foot on the ball. How old is he? He's, I think, 21 or 22. He's quite young. However, the, problem, the only problem I'll tell you is, is he of the required quality that we need at this current moment? Uh, we need somebody to go straight in and replace Dembele. He would maybe need one or two years to that's, kind of develop. That's the thing. That's my problem with him. Is like we need someone who can hit the ground running and come straight into the side, not someone who we need to slowly bed in and Poch, yeah. and Poch need to. Otherwise, you might as well put Skip in. Yeah, exactly. Well, he's seventeen. But... Yeah, well, but you might as well. Do we need someone like? I like. Listen, I wouldn't mind signing Lewis Cook, but I want someone else in the addition. Rabio. Rabio is the one now. Barcelona have signed Vidal. I don't see why we don't go for Rabio. If Rabiot... he's available. For someone like 35, 40 million, even more, 
Before and apparently they still need to sell for the financial fair play with Mbappé and Neymar. It's and a no-brainer. Yeah. If that's true, if, that's, if he's available, Rabiot is the one I would want. I think he would be perfect. I agree. But look, I think given the fact, if given the European quotas, we might need to sign an English player. And it looks like the Greedish boat might have gone. That's my feeling. Um, I, I've got a feeling that we're going to panic by him for like triple what we were putting bids for. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. And if that happens, you, I feel like it's gonna, this is definitely going to be a deadline day window, 100%. Something definitely, it's all going to go down isn't, to deadline man? day. What isn't, man? What isn't? This transfer window is going to be the end of me, man. And I feel like it, we're going to sign someone on deadline day, like a Lewis Cook or a Grealish, and it's gonna kind of, we're going to try and paper over the cracks of what's been, in, in all honesty, a pretty poor and and. Is there not going to be any kind of uh, Levy Van der Vaart kind of deadline day signing? No one saw Van der Vaart coming when it came. True, true. That came out of left field last minute. Maybe. Listen, I'm hoping. I'm hoping so, but I've been let down now so many times. Let's we're, we're just clutching at anything we ever can, since we Van can der Vaart, grab on. Ever since Van der Vaart, we've gone into deadline day with so much anticipation. What's actually happened? Soko. Nothing, nothing. Soko. He's the only one, really. Oh, man. He's kind of give, got a reputation for being with deadline, deadline day wheelie dealer. But since Van der Vaart, I can't think. Except for, and to Soko, which was a bad deal at, at the end. No, nah, but do, do you think the reputation was more Levy or Redknapp? Levy. You think so? Mm. I know Levy was the one that made the Van der Vaart decision, but Redknapp was the, the one wheeler with the dealer. whole wheeler dealer. Yeah, no, fine. But I'm talking, talking, talking about deadline day signings. I mm. think Levy's always had this reputation of being this guy who gets a bargain late on. Yeah. Um, and I can't. I haven't seen that, really. It's happened Van once. Yeah. Can you remember any others? Ten yeah, Wolves. Well, yeah. We've got Ryan Nelson on three. Ryan Nelson? Great. I can't, I can't think of any off the top Ryan of my head. Ryan Nelson, Louis Saha. Oh, uh, Clint Dempsey, maybe we got what deadline What about Fraser day? Campbell? That was Clint. deadline day, wasn't it? Yeah. So I got rid of and got Fraser Campbell. Oh. What a great deal that was. I Listen, but Le- Levy's frustrating me at the moment. It's hard not to be frustrated with where the club is. We know that we're so close to the top and we just need that extra push. However, if we were to take that extra push and then fail, we, it would have dire ramifications, which is true. But I'm not so sure that's true. If we were to drop out the top four... And okay, day. if we were yeah, if we were to drop out the top four, but we're looking at kind of going to win the league. We're not looking at trying to finish yeah. in the top four now. We're we're kind of past that stage now. Mm-hmm. I think I think we can finish in the top four if we don't make any signings. I agree with that. that um, so all we need to do is put that investment in and and do it. Go for the league, man. I don't understand. It's like West Ham are spending a hundred million. Are you telling me we have less money than West Ham? Is that what we're t- is that what we're supposed to believe? And Donna Cullen comes out and says that um, this transfer, the transfer budget, has nothing to do with the stadium money. So what's going on then? Exactly. That's 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 not a good argument. That's direct. That's yeah, the opposite. I agree with that's, you. Well, that's a bad I thing. I know. I'm proving you right. Exactly, which is frustrating. But I'll, obviously, there's a whole big Olivi debate, which we're going to go into in another video. But um, it's just very frustrating. It's going to be a massive four four days. We'll probably. Listen, we'll pr- maybe we'll do daily transfer videos going in the next four days. If there's a lot of activity. No, we'll definitely go live um, on and transfer deadline, deadline day. day if there's, That's it's going to sure. be a big one, I think. So we're going to be going live for that one. So check, look out for that. That was your Spurs weekly. And let us know in the comments below who you think we should sign. If we get who, who you think will get in before deadline day. And as always, Kai Spurs. Spurs.